Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, this is March 1st. Thought of making a quick video on the monthly chart. So what you're looking at is a monthly chart of QQQ. Uh, I have not had a chance to update these levels on a monthly uh, uh, way. So right now what you're seeing is what I had, you know, kind of put on the chart, uh, uh, you know, whenever. And but it seems to look like it kind of held true, right? Because this whole 311.6 area ended up being a uh, uh, resistance, right? And it has been the resistance for quite a few, many months, right? It was a support. So that means this is a critical area, 311.6, 312, unless or until we can get above that, we will not be able to get out of this range or the structure, right? Yes, we are above the downtrend line. That's nice, but we kind of close the month right where we started so all that effort that went into taking the price above from like 295 all the way to 312 kind of just got wasted right so uh it is what it is now on the weekly view right you always assume that we did the trend we were going to follow the trend right so on a weekly uh picture the trend is down right we had this because right now we are we, we have we will still have few days left before the week ends but right now it's an inside week right and if you see this was the high right uh, this was sort of the support the price was getting tight right uh, and instead of the break on the upside we got the break below so it's a bearish breakout and now so far this week we have not seen any follow through to the downside to that bearish week right if we do see it in the next two days sure that that's it will you know it, it will it will be have to go below 290 right uh, but a lot of people are short right because that's what the trend is that's where the bearish breakout is so, but if the price goes above the high of previous week right which is like around 299.1 or 300 that can that can you know kind of uh, catch a lot of shorts uh, where they'll have to cover and we can see a nice big rally back towards 312 right but I'm not saying it will happen, but if it happens, kind of keep an eye on that, right? And now if I look at just a quick daily view, it's kind of scattered, sort of a uh, trendless week, right? Just kind of these doji bars, long top wigs, sometimes bottom wigs, haven't really gone anywhere. So with a little bit of gaps and stuff, so hard to kind of see from the continuation perspective, but, but you know, I would say 299, 300 is your level to see on the upside break, right? Uh, that's where the structure was and now we have a structure below that uh, under 290 right that's where we had the support line something like this right we have the structure right here which held the support before it made the move higher and now again we're respecting that so uh, very you know little range for the week so just because it's an inside week uh, from volume perspective if we see on a daily basis the, vo the, the, the red volume increased right so the bears were in control uh but they are they're you know there we are not seeing from price point of view any downside follow through so that means the people who are short uh can get caught off guard if the price goes above 298 299 and you know, they'll have to cover so that's sort of a quick and dirty uh overview all right hope you guys like it take care